everyone, it's me, Crystal. So today on my Facebook, I had put as my status, I have a fly, making an angel lush cake. And I always Google like small recipes that consist of like three or four ingredients because um, I'm lazy. So to make an angel lush cake, it's a craft recipe. I don't want anybody to think I'm taking credit for it, but it's something that most people won't know unless they go to the craft site. And I'm talking fast because I have a memory card and I don't know when it's going to end. Anyway, to make angel lush cake, it's basically one, two, three, four, maybe five ingredients. You need a can of crushed pineapple, a can of instant pudding, I'm sorry, a box, a box of angel food cake, which I love because it's only one ingredient that you have to put in, and that's one and one fourth cups of water, a thing of Cool Whip Extra Creamy, and you have a little bit of sugar, and you need some strawberries, which I buy the frozen kind because I can use them as I need them. And um, I'll show you how to deal with those in a minute. So I have my cake already made. Basically, you cut the cake into layers because you're going to layer the cake. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I was trying to be brand new and pretty, so that's what I did. So basically, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open uh, your brush pineapple. And you don't drain it. Oh, she's sucking now. And you're going to pour it in your bowl. Okay. That's that. Your pudding. And I know a real person that was recording what they're cooking would have had this already open. Believe it or not, you're just going to dump the pudding in here. You do not need to make it up already or pre-make it. You just dump the powder in the pineapple. Okay. That's what it looks like so far. And you're going to put mm, about half a tub of your cool whip in there. Actually, I'll probably use the whole thing because I'm greedy. Okay. And you're just going to mix it all up. And as soon as I'm done, I'm going to show you how to layer it. So I'll be right back. So I whipped up my pineapples and my vanilla pudding and my Cool Whip. And now basically all I need to do is to start layering this mixture onto the cake. So put a dollop. And um, like I said, what I like about angel cake is that it's only one ingredient. Because I can't, I mean, I don't mind. I do bake from scratch and everything. But sometimes you just want something quick that's kind of like semi-homemade. And you don't have time for all that extra stuff. So. Oops. And this doesn't have to be pretty. It's not that kind of cake. Trust me. Angel cake, as light as it is, I mean, it's really, really light. It holds really well. Like, when you take it out, it doesn't break. It cuts really nice. Everything. Okay? So then you have your, and you know what, you could put a little more than that because it's actually supposed to be pretty high. Put your next layer on and you do the same thing. You layer. And I can use a lot of the, what I, the mixture I have left because I only have one more layer after this. Technically it's supposed to be four layers. But I wasn't, my other cake, I don't know, for some reason it acted kind of weird and I was too scared to try to cut it. So I didn't, but whatever, who freaking cares. This is going to be good. My mom, I gave her the recipe and she tried it today and she said she kept eating the mixture out the bowl. That's how good it was. And I'm just going to pile it on here. And I know that looks probably weird and like, ooh. But there's a reason for it. For one, I don't like waste. So that's that. Now we just scoop a little more off the sides. Okay. Now we're going to put our last final layer on. And we're going to layer it with cream. Yes, I know. I have the fat look on my face. So what? Because anybody that knows me knows this is how I move. Okay. 
And no, you're not supposed to um, lay it aside. It's not that kind of cake. Not like a regular birthday cake where the whole cake is covered in a bunch of icing like that. No. Okay. So that's how that goes. As far as that. Now the last thing you're going to do is you have your strawberries here. Okay. What I do is, and I forgot to get a spoon, but whatever. Okay. I'm just going to take a little pinch of uh, sugar out of my sugar thingy. Because these are frozen strawberries and they're unsweetened. So you want to sweeten them up just a bit. And I'm going to do this by hand. You just put them on top. <laughs> yeah, doesn't that look good? And you can do it however you want. I mean, some people layer it around and all that. Oh, whatever. I have to be careful because I don't want them to fall off. Some people put the strawberries in the middle of the cake as well. I'm not the biggest strawberry eater, believe it or not. Um, but I do not mind them on top of a cake. I just don't like a whole bunch of strawberry gook in the middle of my stuff. Yeah, my mouth is watering. And flies on my way. Yep. So there you go. There is your Angel Lush cake. Hope you try it once again. Cool Whip, uh, vanilla pudding, angel food cake, or you can actually buy a pre-made cake. It doesn't matter. And um, oh, um, oh, crushed pineapple, and that's it. There you go, angel lush cake. And by the way, one more thing: everything that I use for the most part is fat-free. The pudding and the cake are fat-free. Whether it really matters, I don't know, but whatever. Um.